Hey everyone, in the last video we looked at blurring images, in this video we'll look at sharpening them. I'm bringing in the basic raw image here, and then I'm going to move into sharpening. MATLAB has an image sharpen command, I am sharpen, and if you simply pass your image through that, save it, and then I'm going to show the pair between the raw image and our edited image, we'll get a sharpened image. This is the simplest way to do it, but is it really that much sharper? It's hard to tell to the naked eye. There are some parameters that we can tweak here. There's namely two, and I'll start working with the first one here, which is amount. I'll comment out the default here, and then we'll worry about the radius in a moment. Let's just work with the amount. You can think of it as the amount that we're sharpening. Now keep in mind that sharpening is basically finding a change in color, a change in intensity, and making it even more drastic. So as we increase this amount that we're sharpening here, still not really able to see it much, let's really jack this up to about 30. And now you can see we added a ton of noise here, and all the color contrasts that occurred are now just increased greatly. Even to the point where in the sky, it's finding a slight difference in the pixels, and then really ramping up that difference. And you can see how there might be an ideal value for you to tune to. Like anything in image processing, it's going to be finding the ideal value. From here, we can add in this radius command easier to show you what this one does than tell you. And if we run this, you can see we kind of get more bubbly features here. So the mass that's being applied is actually circular as opposed to just looking for those edges. We can really jack up this mask. And you can see we're kind of getting a lot of fluff, especially up here by the bridge. You can see how we kind of created this boundary layer in between the sky and the bridge. But interestingly enough, we're also creating these you know, kind of large regions, similar to how the blur created regions, but in a different sense. And this also overlaps with thresholding again. Right now, if we were to threshold on this, we'd get a very different scheme. We'd get a lot of stuff showing up in the, the woods here on the land than we would from the typical image. And I want to show you one kind of cool thing. If we make this amount small, I think the radius small, and then if we actually bring in some thresholding stuff, it's kind of fun. And again, I'm just messing around with this. I encourage you guys to do the same. I'm just going to do a threshold on it. Con well, first convert it to grayscale, then do a threshold, then binarize on it. If you've been watching the other videos in this series, this should be nothing crazy. And if we go ahead and run this, look what we picked out. We picked out the horizon line here between the, the woods and the sky. We picked out all the features along the bridge, and we also picked out some of these features along the water, kind of this water line as it meets the land on the left, and then all the different, you know, piddly stuff in the, in the grass and the weeds here, but it's almost like a naive edge detector, right? We're finding the places of the greatest contrast, we threshold on it, and then we get those contrasts out. Of course, there's whole other functions in MATLAB that'll do your edge detection for you, and we'll get to that later in the series, but it's good to know and play around with these and see how they interact. Understand what's going on here, tweak your values, and get engaged with how you can do image processing to obtain some goal. That's it for this video. I'll check you in the next one.